know why, why this soil of his is so fertile. Eh? Back then, long ago, before these houses were here, it was, there was a sewer thing here around. A what? A sewer thing. A sewer? A sewer thing. A, a sewer thing? A sewer dam. What does that mean? You know when you flush a toilet and go yeah, to yeah. the balloon, eh? Oh, a, a cistern. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Ah, so, so it got all, yeah. So the government, after it got a new dam to pass through, it renovated the area. Mm. So he's got he's got decades of uh, whatever. So Romeo, hello. This is your thing here. Yes. Come on, man, give us a tour. Wait, wait, what are you stepping on? What are you trying not to step on? Let's put it that way. Yeah. What is what is what is she grown here that you're not trying to step on? Yeah, there's that's um turnip. Turnip. Yes. Uh -huh. Turnips. Yeah. Yeah. That's letters. Letters that over side. there. Yeah. What's what's the, you know what's what's that? Right? That's the kale. That's the kale. Yes. And what kind of kale is that? You said there's different kinds that, of kale. Yes, that's the big one. The one that grows to be almost a tree. Oh, okay. Big so size. Yes. We gotta wait for that. Yes. And then this is um, cornflower. Cornflower. And then broccoli. Yeah. No, there's a there's a there's a there's a saying. We say that broccoli is good. Cauliflower is just a waste. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, broccoli also. Goes right to the end. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have to jump over. Yeah. I'm not I'm jumping. I'm like kick your bottles. <laughs> okay, now, right. now, now, okay. Wait a second. Now these bottles. Tell us. Explain what. What. what now, what is this exactly? One is, one is down. One is up. One is down. What is up? What, what's, what's, what's up with this up and down? Yeah, it's just a decoration. Mm -hmm. So that way, I think also it can sustain. It can stand nicely. Because I it, don't want everything up and then everything down now. But it also, it also if there's a, uh, not a flood, but if there's a lot of rain, it'll hold something back? Yes, the, it's, it's actually a ridge. So mm. that way it uh, holds the water within the garden. Mm -hmm. And this is my path where I'm going to be walking. Uh, right now, the grass is, is not yet ready, but um, I planted some grass there. It should oh, be coming okay. right soon. So and, and, and the grass will hold the water too, so it won't. Yeah. So yes. you can say the purpose of this is, is to avoid soil erosion. I think so. When it, when there so. are floods, yes, when yes, it's flooding, yes. so that yes, it, it, it the doesn't soil wash doesn't away. wash up, to that get is right. wash that, away. That's correct. Mm. That's correct. Mm. So this is where I'll be well, watering my garden, because I'm supposed to use um, a sprinkler, but I don't trust sprinklers because they mainly water on one place and uh, live in the other. And when you move it, it now waters somewhere else, live in the other place. Yeah. So I prefer to do it by hand. Each and every plant, I treat it special. They get the enough water they are supposed to get. Well, 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 well Colin, you have, something, you have something to say about that. Yeah, you I could to... agree when, when you said it's got a problem with the sprinkler, because the reason with sprinkler, uh, when you use a sprinkler, it tends to water everything, even, even the, the wheat. You see, but now when you're using a hose pipe, you strictly water the, the plants mm. so that the seed will get delay, will delay in terms of growing up. But using a sprinkler, and you, while you're growing your veggies, every very same time the seeds they get enough water to grow, and the seeds they always grow faster than the actual plants. But you know, you said something a while ago, long not a long time ago, that you said that. But you also have to almost like talk and treat, talk to each plant. Yes, it's like you, the way you treat your flowers. In the, the, remember, when I was saying that you, yes. when you have a flower a pot plant inside your house, when you dust it off, uh, you give it water. It's like you, you create a connection. It just connect you. So if you go to your garden each, each and every morning and afternoon, it have a way of responding to you. And you will be, you don't want anybody to come to your garden because if you come to your garden and touch something, that thing will, will want be. As the way as its owner, it's like it is a sense of belonging. Mm. I could put it that way. So, Romeo, do you feel like you are, you have connection with your well, with your vegetable? Well, personally, each and every one of them. I wake up in the morning, I give prayer unto them, and I touch them, I bless them. So that way, I know each and every plant. Like right now, I for instance, I've got three of the broccoli that is not looking well, and. Um, I'm, I'm praying that they, they will become one. The, this is one of them. As you can see, I had to work on it. And now it's managed to get some life. That's one of them. And then here's the other ones. Mm. So uh, right now there's one, two, 
yes, that I left. This one also was one of the dead ones. So every morning I just make sure that I pay special attention to them. And and what's them what, what, what's these? What's these? Like looks like seeds around. What's what's that around? The, the thing. Oh, the blue that, things? Uh, yes, the, that's um, that's a fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, now let me, let me ask you. Now, how did you get this idea about these bottles? Because it's the, like you said before, like you said in another video, it's almost like art to you now. Yes. What, 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 and people are coming just to look at you. Wow. <laughs> look at the Yeah, I, I just started it, um, around this garden, around this side here. Yeah. Oh. And as I was going around, I started to see a better picture. And uh, decided, no, let me just go right around the yard and around the, 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 the garden itself. But so what, what, what made you say, let me use clear, but let me use bottles to do this? What, what you know, uh, uh, plastic, you know, because everybody throws away their plastic, so it's, yes. they're in abundance. But it's, it's almost like you're being a conservationist, you know, because you're, yes, you're, you're, you're recycling. Exactly. Yes. But what, what gave you that, I'm saying, what gave yeah. you that idea? Um, was yes, uh, this is what happened. Uh, during the course, before I started, I had almost about 10 or 15 bottles that were just lying around. Mm. And then I also said, no, what can I do with these? Because I can't keep burning them. Can't keep burning them let me try and bury them and then as i wanted to bury them i said no let me just try and make uh, a guidance to, to divide the the garden from from the yard itself and that's how it all started mm -hmm. it started to grow eventually and it's yeah. wow it's um, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, now you have big plans. I don't want to go through all your all your plans here, but we'll just talk, talk a little bit about now. You you have this little uh, what's 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 going on yes. with this little patio here? Right here, this is um, where I started from that corner. Mm. Coming this way, yeah. This is where I'm going to be walking. This is now where the kitchen is going to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have the kitchen here, and also um, the the other reason why I made this here was because instead of me when I'm harvesting, I harvest and take it into the house, and then I wash them, I bunch them, and then I take them out of the house. I, I go and uh, sell them. So I uh, I think it's even much better if I bring out my dishes and put them here, wash them outside, bunch them outside, and and take them out it's much better mm -hmm. but then I see a bigger picture also that no I think I can prepare something else also where, where, uh, where would that be that's the meals that I'm gonna be uh, getting into uh, mm -hmm. later on uh, mm -hmm. as, as the plants they grow up when I'm distributing I'll be able to announce and tell them that no when you need proper I mean when you need your meal that you are buying right now the, the raw one I'll be able to have it ready for you like for lunchtime mainly um, I get some students we have no time to cook they say no I don't have time to cook so they can quickly just come this side it's not so far and then they'll just get their meal and they can go my question since since you, you're planning kale uh, as I asked you before how do you cook kale and you told me just the same way as you do spinach so I'm trying to say that kale will be a substitute for spinach no, it won't be a substitute. It will be just a, a, um, something much better to taste, something different. Because this is a, mainly a traditional meal in, in, in a foreign country. This is our staple diet. So mainly the foreigners, you cannot get kale, really. You'll have to go to the bigger towns to get it. So the, 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 the advantage of having it here is also for them to feel at home. Because it's, it's joyous when someone from far gets to buy something something from home in where they are out of the country that, that way it even boosts the morale because when you're eating something from uh, make a dish from home and you are eating it you feel wow this is good okay. this is good yeah so uh, when i was saying it's a, it's a substitute for 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 spinach i'm trying to say that now we're trying to spoil people for choice now because if i don't have spinach i don't have to worry kale can replace the spinach in my dish Yes, you can, yes. But then also, you see, like, you, you can have your spinach today and you can have your kale tomorrow. Or you can have it in the same day but at different times. And the thing with kale, you cannot uh, have it with rice. You can have it with the bread or you can have it with stuff pap. That's the only way you can have it. If you want, you can have it with rice, but I, I don't know really how you're going to enjoy it because it's much enjoyable with well, you, have to, you have to chop it up. You have yes. to chop it up, basically, making mm -hmm. like a vegetable. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Smaller pieces. Yes. But you know uh, what? What how you do when we had our kale up uh, up at the, the where we lived at the garage? I would just go to the back, take a piece of kale, throw it on my sandwich, and eat it straight raw. 
wow. I like uh, this. Uh, yeah. I haven't, I haven't ever tried that. Oh man, <laughs> kale, tomato, avocado sandwich, oh, unbelievable. Wow. wow. In fact, okay, the other thing is my grandmother showed when I was young, you know, she's my grandmother's a fabulous cook. What she would do is she'd take spinach mm -hmm. and beetroot tops. Okay. And you know, devein it, whatever, uh -huh. put it in a steamer. Okay. And put ginger, uh, ginger in the, in, the, in the water. And so they, that would be the vegetable, mm -hmm. both together. So there's other things you can you can do, you know. This, this there are people you know. they have to just cover. Yeah, you can have exactly. it anyway, anyhow you want. Mm. Yes. Okay, so, so Mr. Antoine, are you saying if if I don't have I don't have a little a lettuce for 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 my my panishao, I want to make my panishao and I have a kale. So uh, that 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 kale can act as a substitute of that spinach. That's right. It'll be hearty though. I mean, you know, you'll be hearty, but it, it have all the vitamins, everything, minerals, everything will stay in it. Yes. You don't cook it out. That's Royal what I'm trying to say. Cheese. The thing about my grandmother steaming it, you don't cook all the, all yes. the stuff out. Yes. You know what I mean? That's another thing. People don't know how to cook vegetables because what they do is they cook it to death. Yes. You know. And you know, that's why. Let's let let let, let we're, we're going to stop here because we don't like these things too long. Anything else you like to, to say oh, about yes. your, your? There's the rape. Uh -huh. This is the other kind. It's the same like um, kale, but this is now rape. This one it doesn't grow very big. It remains a dwarf. Mm. But it gives big leaves. Mm. Same size with the uh, with kale. Mm. Kale it comes up right to to your elbows, uh, to your elbows, mm -hmm. size of your elbows, or almost to your head. Mm -hmm. And this one remains uh, ankle, ankle size. Mm -hmm. size mm -hmm. Yes, but yeah. with big leaves. With, yes, you can have the yes with the big leaves. I think and this is what we have in, our, in my yard. Mm. I think we have this one. Yes. No. No. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. if you look at that one next to the to the plant, yeah, it, it's growing faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it gives you that size. Yeah, that's the one I'm used to anyway. Mm. Wow. Okay. Thanks so much.